everybody, here's you how you beat fox and geese in under a minute. I'm going to go really, really quickly Find here and then explain in more detail later. So basically, we're going to lure him to the left by moving this piece left and right. He goes all the way to the far left. We're going to move two pieces here to the center. So instead of going right, he goes back left where he gets trapped. You're pretty the good. The raccoon is the same basic thing, except a mirror image. We, we lure him to the far right by having him jump a piece. We move two pieces to the center, so instead of going left, he goes right and gets trapped. Ah, oh, you beat me. Now, the pig is the exact same thing. It's just rotated 45 degrees. So it's a little bit more difficult, because we have to get all the pieces into place to set up the trap. But this is it. This is it. This is the trap you want to get the board to look like this. I'm going to move uh, this piece uh, just left and right until he takes the bait and falls for the trap. And there we go. He's going to fall for a trap. So he goes all the way up. I'm going to move two pieces into place. I'm going to move this one first, then this one second. He goes all the way back up where he's trapped. You win. And yeah, Another win. I beat Foxy Another Geese set of red eyes. Now that I've made it look easy, let me show what this strategy is really like because it rarely works out that well. I'm going to start with the moose over here on the left. I try to lure Bill to the left by moving this piece left and right over and over again. Come on, Bill. Take the bait. Take the bait. Take the bait. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Ooh, he's going to take the bait. Here we go. Got it. So now he's on the far left. What we do is we move the corner piece down, and then we move uh, this middle piece right into the center of the board. So you move the corner piece and then the middle piece. He goes back left and is trapped. So I was not the one who came up with this strategy. This strategy is from Evil Clown Attack, who's one of the Nancy Drew speedrunners. Shout out to Evil Clown Attack. So I'm going to do uh, the same thing with the raccoon. I'm going to try to lure Bill over here to the right by moving this piece left and right. Sometimes Bill doesn't take your bait. You've got a couple of options in that case. Option number one, just start over. Uh, option number two, take a random other piece and try to lure him. Lure him by setting up a, a double jump. If Bill has a double jump, then he'll take it. That's basically how Bill's AI works. If, if there's a jump Bill can make, Bill is going to take that jump. Other than that, is completely random. He'll just move to one of the random spots that are available to him. I'm told his AI is different on senior mode. On senior mode, he moves a little bit differently. Okay, here we go. I'm setting up a triple jump here. Okay, so that got him all the way to the right. So, exact same thing. I move the corner piece down, and then I'm going to move this middle piece right into the center of the board. Now take a look at this point. Bill has four different places he can go to. We want him to go back to the corner. That way he'll get trapped. But it's a one in four chance. So you just have to hope you get lucky when you move the piece to the center. So we were not lucky there. He did not go to the right. But hope is not lost. I can move this piece down. And guess what? He moves back back there. Okay, so now go right. Yes, okay. That worked. So obviously the most difficult one is the, the final one, uh, which has the uh, somewhat complicated setup. I tried to show that off uh, when I was showing it off earlier, but uh, you know things were moving a little quickly, so it, it might have been a little hard to uh, notice. So I'm just going to move all the pieces into place for the trap. And, wow, I messed up while setting up the trap. Okay, okay. There's probably a safer way to set up the trap. I was probably just being stupid. Okay, here we go. This is it. So this is the trap. We have uh, three pieces here, three pieces here, and then up here in the center... We've just got um, a piece, a hole, a piece, and a hole. So we're, we're going to try to lure him uh, lure him there, let's see, by just moving a, a random piece. You can do uh, what I did earlier, which is just 
take take a random piece and try to bait him by setting up a, a, a lot of jumps. <laughs> Set up a triple jump for him. That would work, yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, so he's going to take the bait. He jumps all the way up to the top. So here I'm going to move this piece to the right. And now I'm going to move this piece to the center. And he's only got two options because this way will be blocked and then this way will be blocked. So we've got a one in two chance of him going back up and getting trapped. Let's hope he takes it. He did not take it, so we just have to start over. So that's sort of the downside uh, of this technique. Uh, out of the way, Bill. Out of the way. I'm trying to set up for this one. That's sort of the downside of, of this strategy is if he does not take the bait, then you're just sort of forced to start over, and you'll have to do a lot of restarting. But it is still way better than having to play fox and geese for a full hour. So here we go. We're in position now. Just go left. Just go left, Bill. Just go left. One left. Great. Okay, so now he's going to take the bait. And we're going to try the strategy again. We move the corner piece to the right and this piece to the center. He had a one and two chance and he did not take it. Oh well. So what you can do is, say, move the center piece down one, and then he's got a 1 in 4 chance of going back up. I mean, you might as well try. This is sort of the same dance I did earlier with the raccoon when I was moving the center piece up and down and up and down. Well, I'm moving this piece up and down and up and down in hopes of him going back up where he'll get trapped. Oh, but he's not actually taking the bait. Oh well. So, one more try. You do want to be a little bit careful when setting up the strategy. Um, as you've seen, he has the ability to jump you at certain points. But uh, this is it. This is the this is the board set up perfectly. And now he's going to take the bait. This in the middle. This in the middle. He goes back up. Game over. Woohoo! So that's the strategy in more detail. Now that I've explained how the strategy works in some detail, let me show it off one more time. I'm going to try to get him to go for the moose. He takes the bait right off the bat. Good. So corner piece down and this piece to the middle. Haha, -ha, now he's trapped. So he went left from the start. There's a 1 in 5 chance of him going to the left. Uh, also, there's a 1 in 5 chance of him going to the right towards the raccoon. So you should adapt your strategy based on what he does. So if he goes right, make him go for the raccoon. Set up the raccoon trap. If he goes left, set up the moose trap. Okay, so now he's on the far right. We move corner piece down and then this piece to the center. Ah, sadly he did not go right. So I just keep moving things around until he starts jumping me. Or he goes back into place. Okay, so... He's not going right. He's sort of just messing around. Okay, here we go. Oh, never mind. He's taking the bait to go right. Good, good, good. So corner piece down and this piece in the center. And then this piece down. So now for the pig strategy. So I'm going to try to bait him with this uh, random side piece. Wait, wait, wait. I think he's... No, come on, Bill. You can do it. Here we go. Okay. Baited him with the triple jump. Corner piece goes right, and this piece to the middle. And he traps himself. Okay, so... 
can you expect this strategy to work in under a minute every single time? No. But can you expect it to work in under, say, 10 minutes? Yes! And that's good. So, once again, shout out to Evil Clown Strategy. I mean, Evil Clown Attack for this strategy. You're awesome, Evil Clown.